hello everyone in this video i am going to discuss the conversions of binary number into sky number so you have to write a programs for 8085 to convert any binary number to sky number so first you have to understand the what is the sky code of 0 what is the sky code of 1 2 3 like that so if you know if you are converting this 0 into the sky code you are getting 30h if you are converting 1 in sky code you are getting 31h if you are converting 2 in a sky code you are getting 32h you are converting 3 in sky code that is 33h like that you are going to convert up to the 0 to 9 so if you are converting 9 you are getting 39h but after that a b c d e f if you want to convert this a number into the sky code you have to get 41h b represents in sky code is 42h c represents sky code is 43h like that so what will happen you can see if you are taking there are two different numbers one is either less than 10 or greater than 10 so these numbers belongs to less than 10 and this numbers belongs to the greater than 10 so if you are there are two concepts if it is less than 10 then you have to add 30h to get the sky code and if it is greater than 10 you have to add 37h to get the corresponding sky code so let us consider with the examples i am considering examples b to h so here you have to remember that b is having some another sky code and 2 is having some another sky code so with the help of ever concept you can see 2 represents 32 in sky code and b represents 42 in sky code so you have to write a programs for converting this binary number into the sky number so if you are converting b you have to get the 42h if you are going to convert 2 in a, a sky number then you are getting 32h so first of all we are going to start the initialization process with the input value and initialization process with the output value so first i am going to consider lxi h 200h here i am putting the value of hl value equal to 200h in what so this 200h memory location will point as a memory registers so if you are throughout the programs i am using the m register it means that it indicates the location 200h so this is used as a input now for the output after converting the value you have to store in some memory locations for that i am initializing d register pair into 2200h locations here i am storing the output value so now the first input value in 2000 locations it means that i am going to provide in 2000 location is b2h as i am considering in a examples so what will happen i am considering these two so i am converting i am transferring the memory location data into the accumulator registers so that i have to operate now again this value will be stored in some another registers also why it is since in this examples i have to convert this b registers into the sky code first then i have to consider to you have to convert this two value into the it means you are going to use two times the same operations for that that purpose i have stored the input value into the some other memory locations that is b equal to a equal to b to h now i am trying to convert first the v value i am going to convert the v value so that i have to take this b value into the right side 
so what will happen i am using rrc four times it means that you are shifting four bits right so if i am so it is, uh, if it you are writing b2s in the binary form what will happen it considers 10110010 after rotating four times you are getting the a value is 0010 and 1011 so i am going to mask this bit mask this bit and then going to convert it so now what will happen i am going to call binary to sky binary to sky subroutine if i am going to use binary to sky subroutine so you have to write that let us consider if you are calling this subroutine binary to sky in that call instructions will be used at that time you have to store the next memory location address for that you have to define the stack pointer value so i am going to initialize lxi sp comma 27000h till now there is no requirement of stack pointer but in this situations i have to use the stack pointer value so i have mentioned it lxi sp equal to spa comma 2700h now i am going to write the subroutine for that so if i am going to write the subroutine i am going to write subroutine that is binary to a sky subroutine so before that the a value will be 0010 and 1011 so if i am going to binary, uh, write the subroutine first i am going to mask the value mask the lower nibble so i am going to mask with the a in i0 fh so what will happen after masking the value you are getting a equal to 0001011 so the after masking you are getting this value it means that you have to do and operation with accumulator's value 0010011 with 0fh so after that you are getting this value now whatever this value you are getting you have to compare with the 10 so this is cpi 0 ah it means that you have to compare the 10 since why it is going to compare is if it is less than 10 i have to add 30h and if it is greater than 10 i have to add 37h so this value is if you are writing in this hexadecimal you can getting b value so b is definitely greater than a so what will happen <coughs> in this case you have to add 37h so i am adding adi 37h if it is less than 10 then why i have to i have to jump jc next so next i have to go this next and next equal to it comes under the adi 30h and return it means you have to understand when the number is less than 10 then you are getting a carry in the case of carry the jump conditions jump on carry will satisfy and you have to move the next location and you have to get 30 so now in this case the v value is greater than that so directly we are getting the adding the 37h value you are getting this it means that you can add 37h in the in this value so a equal to 0b plus 37h you can add it you are getting the 42h value so i have taken the b input and we are getting the con after conversion you are getting the 42h value it means that the sky code of b is 42h now uh, when it will comes on the return it will be go to the back main programs after main programs i am going to store in the 42h value 
in D registers, I already defined the LXI D comma 220H. So it will be going to be stored in the 2200H locations. Again, I am going to increase the D value so that the next output will going to be stored in the next location. For that, again, I am writing move A comma B since one digit is already converted in a sky code. Again, I have to convert in the second number. Two number is going to convert in a sky code. So now again, whatever the value I have stored in the B registers, same B registers will be copied into the accumulators. And then again, we are using to call bindy to sky subroutine. If I am going to use bindy to sky subroutine, what will happen? Now you are getting a value. So I'm going to write in that side, move a comma b. So here a value will be 10110010. Now I am going to mask with the 0fh value. If you are going to mask with the 0h value, it means that you are getting 00000010. It means that it comes, if you are converting this, you are getting 0 to H. Now I am going to compare this 0 to H to the 0 A. Okay, so if you are comparing this means 0 to is less than 2 A. So it will create a carry. So if it will create a carry, it will go jump next. It will come to the here next and then it will add 30. So if it will add 30, you can get the 32 H value. So in this case, again, I have to come with the return to the main programs. And after main programs, I am going to store this value into the D register sphere and then hold. So if you are converting B comes to the 42 H and 2 comes to the 32 H. In this way, you are going to convert the binary number into sky code. Thank you.